Hola amigos, bienvenidos a mi canal, soy Rocío. Si eres nuevo a mi canal, muchísimas gracias por visitarme. Desde ya te invito a que le des like al video, te suscribas a mi canal y no te olvides de activar la campanita de notificaciones para que no te pierdas de nada. So today I'm actually excited because I'm gonna tell you, uh, well, you already saw the title, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you how I discovered Jokoi. And let me tell you my little story. Um, so the other day I was, um, watching TV. Actually, no, I wasn't watching TV. I was finishing working and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down, um, uh, and just watch some TV with my boyfriend. So I was like, okay. So we sat down and I was like, I usually, I love documentaries. I love crime shows. <laughs> I love, uh, movies or whatever it is based on a true story. I like intensity <laughs> as I mean, most of you guys know me by now. And so that's that kind of stuff that I like. But that night I was like, you know what? I, I just want to chill. I don't want to focus so much or like, uh, be heartbroken <laughs> today. Well, tonight. Um, so I said, I just want some comedy. Like I want to laugh tonight. And he was like, okay. And I told him you choose because I have such a hard time like finding shows to watch because I barely watch TV really. Uh, so uh, that night I was like, you know what? You pick whatever, just surprise me. But I wanna laugh tonight. I want something cool, like chill and funny. So he was like, okay. So he started like looking and so he went to the, so we went on Netflix and he went to the uh, comedy category and he was just scrolling and then he found Jokoi, and he was like, oh, have you seen this guy before? And I was like, no, who's that? And actually that was my first time seeing him. And he was like, oh, he's Filipino. He's really, really good. And it's been a while since, I mean, last time he watched him, but he was like, I like this guy. He's funny and he's really good. And he told me, my boyfriend, especially now that you're learning a lot from the Philippines, that might be interesting for you because he might like, say some stuff that you don't even know. So I'm sure you will learn from this guy. So I was like, okay, go ahead. So I got ready. I got my drink. I got, I don't know what I was eating. Um, so I sat down and I was like, okay, play. So we started watching it. He was actually really funny. Um, I learned so much <laughs> from that show. I watched the whole thing. Like sometimes I get distracted and when I'm watching a show, I'm like, okay, I need a break or I get up to whatever, feed the cats or go to the bathroom, whatever it is. That night I was like so hooked because right now, like I'm learning so much and it was just super interesting for me. And I enjoyed it like from beginning to end. And they talked about the Philippines. They talked about the culture, of course, jokes uh, about a little bit of everything, actually, uh, the meaning of his name. Then they showed some images because that show was in Manila. Um, so it was a great show and I got to know his story. I learned a little bit about him and that was my first time. And I was like, damn, I mean, as soon as I finished watching that show, I was like, okay, I need to do a video because, oh, and this is a funny thing. I finished that show and then I was reading your comments uh, from one of the videos and there was one comment that said something about, you have to check out Jokoi. And I was like, wait, what? And I was like, oh my God, like, did you just see me or something? I mean, how do you know? And I read it and I, was, and I replied to that comment. I was like, oh my God, I mean, I just discovered this guy. Like I just saw him on TV. And it was just crazy for me. So I was like, I definitely have to do a video on this. And I really enjoyed him. So let me, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because you probably have watched that video, but it's on Netflix. It's a, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Let me see, uh, let me see if I can see something. Uh, Jokoi in his elements and it's from Manila. But, oh, and it was cool too because he brought other Filipino Americans to his show. Also took some of them to the Philippines and for some of these kids because they were really young for some of these kids it was their first time in the philippines so they were like it was cool i mean to see their expressions and their reactions i mean in the philippines it was cool and i want to show you some let me share here okay so let me show you so this is just part of the the show on netflix 
So let me show you this because since it's Netflix, they might block it, okay? Oh, and by the way, I just got a strike uh, on Monday and not cool. And you know why it's not cool either? Because I got a strike from a video I uploaded last year. What the heck? I mean, not fair, not cool, <laughs> not cool at all. Um, but, well, there's nothing I can do. And of course I have blocked videos as usual. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you just a fragment of this clip because I know they're gonna they're gonna block it. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. The Philippines is separated by seven thousand islands, and they and I learned that from you guys. Let's go. Speak about one hundred and eighty-seven languages. See the languages? I learned about that. The islands, the languages. Listen. But there's one language you all speak fluently: karaoke. Boom, chakalaka, boom. That's what we're talking about. Yes, 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 we learned this, we learned this. And it made me laugh so hard when I heard this, when he said it, because I was like, and I, I turned, I remember, and I saw my boyfriend, I was like, this is exactly why I'm doing this. Because this is how I started, and now I'm into like the culture, I'm into like the food, I'm into like the languages, I'm into like everything else. And it's so cool to be learning your country. And But when he said this, I was like, oh my God. And I told him, spot on, I mean, and he was like, I told you you were gonna like this guy. <laughs> but anyways, okay, listen. And that's fucking Japanese. <laughs> And that's Japanese. So, because I remember this too, because you guys said um, that it was discovered by a uh, Filipino, it's Filipino. And and then when he said this, I was like, wait a minute, because I remember something like this and I know I did my research. So I did it again, right now, <laughs> today. And it says, uh, the word, well, first of all, the word karaoke, in Japanese means empty or missing orchestra. And Roberto del Rosario, just by the name, we know that that's not a Japanese name, okay? <laughs> Let's just get that right. So it says, Roberto del Rosario, a Filipino national, was granted patents in, 90, in 1983 and 1986 for a device generally known as the karaoke machine. So now we know, what do we know? What did we learn? The word is Japanese, but Roberto del Rosario is a Filipino national. Therefore, to me, it was invented, it was discovered by a Filipino, <laughs> period. Okay, we're not gonna discuss that here right now. <laughs> well, if you want to, leave you, your comments below. <laughs> but that was so interesting. But it was, I mean, definitely funny to watch that comedian. Love them, love them. And I wanna watch, other episodes, other shows, other clips that he might have, and I know he has a lot, but I'm so glad that my boyfriend picked that show that night. And I could, well, I couldn't relate because I'm not Filipino, but at the same time, I could, because I'm learning so much, and that just brought a lot of joy that day. I remember that night, and I was like, that's all I need tonight, I'm happy, I watched the show, now I'm gonna drink a little bit. And I was like, if I had a karaoke machine tonight, I would have sang too, but I don't. <laughs> but it was just funny. And they also show some dancers in the show, then the food and some places in, in the Philippines. So it was really, really cool. I mean, to watch that show and learn even more. But here, a lot of the, the stuff that you guys are teaching me, that you guys are sharing with me, and it's just priceless to me. And I'm really, really enjoying this journey. And I thank you so much for the support, for the love, and also for your time to teach me because that means the world to me. And in exchange, I'm gonna teach you because I also read a comment and somebody suggested that I teach you guys like certain amount of words or phrases in each video, a Spanish word translated in English. So let's start that today. How about that? I'm just gonna teach you today just some words, but you, I mean, most of you might know them already. So let's start. Hola, hello. <laughs> Hola, hello, or hi. <laughs> you know that word already. Okay, ciao, bye. Or it depends on the country too, because sometimes other countries say adios, Bye. Or hasta luego. Bye. Well, that's kind of like see ya, see you later. 
Um, but I, me, personally, I say ciao. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? We know that too because we learned that and it was very similar to Chavacano, I remember. Uh, let's see. Uh, buenas noches. Good night. Buenas noches. Good night. Let's go with, let's see. Um, oh, no, I was going to say something like Chavacano, but no. Uh, let's see. Let's, the last one, let's uh, let it be, let's see, something that we use very often. Oh, oh, we can say, uh, te amo or te quiero, I love you. Te amo o te quiero, I love you. <laughs> I mean, it depends how you want to say it, really. It's either te amo or te quiero, whatever you prefer. <laughs> really, there's no right or wrong. Sometimes I say te amo, sometimes I say te quiero. It depends who I'm talking to also, I mean, but it's whatever. But so we started today and I want to come up with like phrases next time and go from there. So if you like that, just let me know. And also if you have like questions, okay, how do you say this in Spanish? Then tell me and then I'll, I'll say it in one of the videos. That could be easier too, because if you want to learn like something specifically, then just let me know and boom, we'll do it. We'll get it done. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's teamwork over here, okay? You help me, I help you. Let's help each other out. I got your back, you got my back, hopefully. <laughs> so let's work like that. I really enjoy this comedian, Joe Boy. So I'm looking forward to watching more of his shows. And hopefully there's more shows on Netflix too. I haven't seen other episodes maybe that's just me because i'm horrible on netflix but i know my boyfriend and he's really good at it so i'm gonna ask him to look for more oh and also i learned the the word jeepney <laughs> when throughout the whole show he was saying this word jeepney and then they showed that jeepney in the video and i was like okay now i get it but it's so smart like they make it work you guys a little bit of everything, but definitely that karaoke, I was, I mean, I was laughing my ass off because that was funny. That was spot on and so freaking true. And I'm a witness. I'm a witness because karaoke, Filipino, you guys win. I don't care what other countries say, you guys win. You got this. I mean, for sure, for sure. So anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. You know the drill. Also, share the video, leave your comments below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later. Ciao.